65 years ago, Leslie Caron was 19 and on the cusp of stardom. Her screen debut, An American in Paris with Gene Kelly, was Best Picture in 1951. What's your favorite dance Number? routine from American in Paris? Uh, I think in the big ballet, I enjoyed the Toulouse-Lautrec one, Can Can. What about the chair? <gasps> mm. <laughs> God help me. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. This is 1951. Oh, censorship. Everything was too bawdy, too sexy. The lady from the censorship bureau came and saw it and said, this won't do. I said, what can I do with a chair? What's, what's, <laughs> too sexy. So I had to do it again and tone it down. It's still pretty sexy. She'd been discovered at 16 at the Ballet des Champs-Élysées in Paris by Jean Kelly. The night Jean Kelly came to the theater and saw me dance, I wasn't supposed to be on the stage. The dancer who was picked was sick, so I did the part. What was it about that young girl? I think good luck happens to a lot of people all the time, repeatedly. I think the important thing is to recognize good luck and to make good use of it. You know, I wasn't beautiful <laughs> at all. No, no, Excuse no, no. me. No, I wasn't. Let's say I pretended then. You're the only things I love. But she acted that part. I know you love me too. With tender charm. Why, you poor darlings, you're trembling. As an orphaned ingenue beguiling a lonely older man, earning the first of two Oscar nominations in Lily. And another orphaned ingenue beguiling an even older Fred Astaire in Daddy Long Legs. It's strange because now you think twice about having an older man play around with a young girl. People weren't sensitive to that at no, all. No, no, no. Oh yes, aunt, I understand. We don't marry, is that it? Instead of getting married at once, it sometimes happens we get married at last. In Gigi, thank heaven for little girls. They grow up every day in the most beautiful way. A teenage schoolgirl is being prepared for a life as a courtesan. As a courtesan, yeah. But instead of becoming Madame, a kept woman, will you do me the Gigi honor? finds the true love. Give me the infinite joy of bestowing on me Gigi's hand in marriage. Gigi would go on to win nine Academy Awards, and Leslie Caron was a bona fide Hollywood star. But she no longer lived in Hollywood. Following the second of three husbands, Peter Hall, director of the Royal Shakespeare Company, to London. Hello, Leslie, Peter. Hello, Todd. Hello, Sean. She appeared on CBS's Person to Person with Charles Collingwood in 1959. Leslie, does this mean that you finally put roots down here in London? My roots are wherever my husband and children are, really. Your film character, The Ingenue, is associated with all these older men. In your life, you didn't choose older men. Hmm, no. I chose talented men. Peter Hall, my husband. He was just a beginner when I met him. He had the capacity of being a great man of the theater. I could see that. What do you think attracted him to you? Because he buried the things that we most loved about you, the stage, the dance, the film, <sighs> and... I forgive him because it was, you know, his background. In his milieu, women stayed in the home and sent off the children to school. And that's what he expected of a wife. Ah, the children. Don't you wish you could have a, a chance to, to yes. do it again now? Yes. 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 I would say, now look here. <laughs> it was a different time. Yeah, different times. 
and it took a very long time for women to say, look here, I'm me, I exist. My life has to be fulfilled too. In those days, would an actress imagine being at the age of Gene Kelly or Fred Astaire and still having no way <laughs> roles? 40 and the door was closed. But today, doors seem to be opening for 80-something stars. I think it's the English who changed everything. With the Maggie Smiths and the Judy Dentures, those wonderful actresses, suddenly the public said, hey, wait a minute, I prefer looking at those ladies who have experience and wits and wisdom. Why can't you be one of those? I am going to be. In fact, in 2007, she earned an Emmy for her guest appearance on Law & Order SVU. Why are you lying? You know it's true, Marty! You swore you wouldn't say anything! You grabbed that kitchen knife from the counter, you made me pull down my pants, and you raped me! That was an astonishing piece of acting. Thank you. There's a poignant line in your memoir of some several years ago. The best years of my life are over? No, 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 no. You disagree with yourself yes, now? Yes, yes, yes. You would like to argue with the author of your memoir? Um, yeah. <laughs> if I wrote that, I... You did? Yeah, it's not true. Hand me that book. <laughs> I've circled it. The best part of my life is over. Now is the time to reflect. Okay, and I reflect that it's not <laughs> over. <laughs> life coming full circle, this past week she came to New York to see a play, the hit Broadway musical An American in Paris, starring Leanne Cope as Lees, the role Leslie Caron created. Not many people get the kind of incredible gift that you and I were given. Mm -hmm. It's true. It does feel like Plucked, a gift. and there you are, on a silver platter this magnificent part in a grand production. What did you think when Leanne, yes. in the role that you created in the movie, in the movie, when Leanne makes her first entrance, what did you think? She just bursts forward like a little jewel, like beauty, charm, modesty, you wouldn't expect that in somebody who plays the lead, and you quite understand that he falls in love with her. She really does it beautifully. Were you ever coming in and out of me, her, me, her? I could see the shadow of me way back, yes. The memory of what I was like. And maybe the audience Tuesday night could too. I'm having a wonderful time. I really relish it.